well happy with that first go, absolute banger. World of difference from my other session, and I'm thinking, right, this is on now. So I'm taking two goes, and then I'm having long rests between those sets of goes. Um, and I just did that all the way through the session. say about the second try it was a good go good progress still but then I decided to practice the top as well so usually a really good idea if you're projecting just to try and do the whole thing in as many sections as it takes but when you're tired just to get a feeling of how it will feel uh, even though you've fallen off it's one thing I forgot my own advice and this is the only time I did it throughout the entire session but um, there you go can't always be perfect So on this go I find that little bit of left toe pressure that I've got underneath and that really helps stability on the move at the lip and I just don't really know what to do with myself, I've never been that stable in that position before. And I try a few things on my left foot but can't find anything so I go back to look at, at it after the go and see if I can find anything I can do with my left leg. On this go you can really see how much freedom I've got to move my left foot. I try to either stand on the front of the jug or to just tuck it into my chest to reduce the swing. Just trying to work a few things out here whilst I'm not actually on the problem. I'm trying to work out whether I can change my body position using that left foot in any way. taking the absolute piss here. I've found so much tension between the left hand and the right heel that I'm able to actually take my right hand off. So then I start messing around seeing if I can get my lanky arms over to the lip with my right hand or even seeing if I can move my left hand further. But I decide to stick with the beater I've got.
You can see here I'm messing around with all sorts of things. I might be able to reach my right hand and trying to change the crux. But the crux of this problem isn't that the uh, left hand is bad, it's the right hand under the roof. So realistically, I don't need to move my left hand any higher and there wasn't anything within reach whilst you're under the roof for the right hand to make it any easier. So the swing is what it is, you can't escape it. thinking I was running out of steam. So on my last go, I worked out two micrometer adjustments. One is to get the heel toe cam with the hip nice and open, set, flat, and solid before I go out to the crimp. And the second was to concentrate on pinky finger engagement in the crimp in the roof. So let's see if that makes any difference on my first try.
go. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Um, on my second try, I tried to put my heel in a different place and I, yeah, paid the price. Regretted that. Um, that index, that, that pinky finger positioning in the roof crimp is sacrificing a little bit of the index finger. Um, but I think it's necessary to hold the swing. Um, starting to maybe run out of goes. Have another session on it and see what happens. In hindsight, looking back at the footage, this looks like probably my best go of the whole session. I stay really tight to the roof, stay really high, but unfortunately my right hand just unwinds as soon as I hit the swing, my fingers are too tired. Yeah, I'm going to call it a day there. I know it maybe seems an uh, imperceptible difference on the videos of various goes, um, but with a problem like this, you can really feel the finger stress on that middle crimp, and it's like skeletal pain in the knuckles over time. Um, and that last go there, even though it may look s similar, some of you might be able to see it, I guess, if you've been climbing a long time, um, slight differences. I definitely felt weaker on the crimp there, but I told myself that I was going to give everything into that go. Um, so I'm going to call it for today, even though I am making pretty steady progress and I'm really close. Um, I think I can just have a better session again with everything I've learned fresh and I don't run the risk of shredding through a tip or injuring a finger. So I'm going to uh, end it on a high note.